We will now begin viewing surface structure representations of these macromolecules. They comprise around 25% of the cytosolic mass and around 50% of the mass of cell membranes. Proteins provide shape and structure to a cell, giving neurons and red blood cells their distinctive morphology. They catalyze chemical reactions, act as signaling molecules, form the cytoskeleton, and coordinate the packaging of DNA. They form both the roadways throughout a cell as well as the motor proteins that travel along these roadways. They are hormones, antibodies, they produce bioluminescence, they are mechanical turbines, and complicated machines. If we remove all but the NCC backbone, we see that the alpha helix forms a right-handed spiral and the NH group from an amino acid four units away. Notice that the specific arrangement of atoms creates pleats or folds in the sheet. However, many proteins are composed of multiple interacting polypeptide chains. This level of organization is called the quaternary structure. Some protein complexes contain a small number of subunits. For example, dimers and tetramers contain two and four subunits respectively. Other protein complexes contain dozens of subunits, forming huge complex machines. Sometimes, covalent bonds are added to staple certain regions together. This binding induces a dramatic conformational change in the regulatory subunits.